Representative McCarthy and a number of them. Um, did I hear you correctly, sir, that you said the vote was unanimous? Uh, the commissioners, yes. Okay. Um, Commissioner um, Kenny? Yeah, yeah. If you're going to rehab, we can save uh, two of the wings. But uh, I'm a new commissioner. I don't have all the history. Uh, the building is over 40 years old. I think every building has life expectancy. I think the old nursing home outlives this. I, therefore, I'm for building a building apart. I support that. And if you also read the AGA report, she also stated in it, because of the structure, it's difficult to rehab. And because of the continuous roof leaks, there's maybe also suspected mold. Okay, so I, I assume that what you were telling us right now, that you were not in agreement with the other <coughs> two select um, um, <coughs> to be able to save the poor. No. No, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Commissioner Sorensen and then McCarthy. I need, I need and to, Umberger and McCarthy. I need to get this straight now. We had a Wednesday meeting. I asked you outright whether you would support keeping two wings in the core section. And you said at that time that you would. Is that right? Uh, no, I'm for drawing the building apart. If they go into rehab, they can keep the two wings. But in order for that, I'm not in support. Representative Umberger. Uh, yes. Could, uh, uh, I know Commissioner Johnson said he wanted to save the poor and the students, <coughs> and I certainly would like to hear what a how much square footage this is, and b what they what their plan is to do with the square footage that they're talking about. <coughs> Some of that is still undecided. For example, the laundry, whether we do that or not. Uh, probation might be a possibility of them coming in. Um, they need at least a thousand square feet. Um, we need more storage. Presently, we have two trailers, two trailer truck boxes, uh, and the old building that housed the old, old, old boiler, that we took out the old boilers, filled it with gravel, put a concrete floor in there, and that's also being used by the nursing home. If we combine the two trailers and that storage facility, move it into one of those wings, it would be more efficient for the maintenance department to function. And if we need further um, support for that, I'd ask Bob Murray to, uh, to speak to that as a maintenance person. Okay, um, I have I have a set that is, let's, I, if you ask a question of the commission, I'll do that, Representative McCarthy, and then Flat. Okay. So you've got to follow up with okay. it, and then go I, to the yeah. commissioner. I did not hear the square footage that you were talking about. I don't, I don't know what the square footage is, Representative Umberger. This, this plan is not, it is not cast in stone for what I've been doing yet. And I know that um, I think there is the thirty. The, there's the thirty thousand square feet at the core is what you got, Representative Conkey, on your on your plan. Mm -hmm. Representative Conkey, it's just you mean three thousand? Is it three thousand? Three thousand is the uh, count. My excuse me, yes. Chair. My understanding is that the uh, the need of the uh, extension is three thousand square feet. It's my understanding that the core is nine thousand. And that the wings wings are another three thousand square feet. So we got two wings total. Uh, three thousand. I, I I believe so. I don't have that one right here. This is a very crude. Can't see it. Can't see it. That's the core. These it again. This is crude. These what these right now, and the new nursing home is off this way. So this is the core. 
And you were saying, Representative McCarthy, that the core is 9,000 square feet? I believe the core is 9,000 square feet. I have a letter from EG&A here, Madam Chairman. It mm -hmm. says it's 15,000 square feet when they did their examination. Okay. For the core, yes. Well, this analysis assumes the resident wings will be demolished and the center wing of the building will remain, leaving approximately 15,000 square feet. I would say that's the core. Thank you. So we already have a discrepancy, but we don't have anything in, you know, in writing for what we're going to do now. Then what we're going to do, Representative Umberger, did you get your questions done? Okay. And you got another Just, question? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, it appears that we don't know how many square feet we're talking about. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I guess that the, the, the final question I have is how much did the furnace use in square footage? Our pellet furnace? Yeah. And, and where know. and where is that located? I'm helping out. The furnaces are going into where the maintenance uh, department presently is. Yes. Yeah, the new Do you, what, this part, And I know it's very crude. Just put an X marks the spot where the, where the um, pellet stove, but the pellet burner is right now. Approximately here, which is the current maintenance shop, which will move here. This, will, this area right here will house the boilers. Okay, and that's the pellet stove, right? Pellet, pellet boilers. Is it? And there are um, pipes going from there to the new nursing home. Over here, but yes. So okay. Um, there are underground pipes that go underground into the new boiler room. Okay. So I'm in the office. So that arrow was wrong. The nursing home was that way. Okay. I am useless when it comes to directions. Okay. Um, any further questions, Representative? Representative McCarthy, and then Fleck and Tribune. Yes, uh, the Commissioner, uh, the Chair, uh, Mr. Sorensen, I, I have a copy of that EGA report. You mentioned something about um, the cooperative extension, that that was part of the reason. It doesn't mention it in the report. And the report does say it's 15,000 square feet, and it also says that the core would possibly be saved, but all four wings would be demolished. And when did when did it change that you wanted to keep two of the wings? It came initially when we put in the request for the new building. A hundred thousand dollars was put in there to tear down two wings of the old nursing home. The two that are on this side facing the new nursing home. There is no. I don't have a report. So when we went through the process, there was, and that would have been not this year, but it would have been last year, of 010, 209, 209. 209, where the $100,000 was put in was to put in the there. nursing home construction. Um, remember the nursing the new home? New one. Yeah. I'm lost. Um, so that there is $100,000 that was put in for the destruction of two wings, not, not the four. Right. Okay. So. Um, that's it. Do you have a further question, Representative? <coughs> Do you have a further question? No, I, I, I don't. This is dated uh, July 13th of 2009. So the transition from saving two wings to demolishing all four had to be done sometime <laughs> after that, I would assume. No. Yeah. Actually, no, it was. It was decided prior to that. They didn't realize that we were going to save two wings. That's why it doesn't show in their report. And remember, the commissioners are recommending to us that this is what's going to happen under the assumption that they had the full authority to be able to do what it was that they wanted to do with the nursing home. We've now found out in the RSA that's the duty of, and that is the charge to the county convention. So now what we have to do is to be able to figure out what it is that we want to do. Um, two to one that the commissioners have given us a recommendation and um, you know so that this is a discussion whether it's going to be decided today or not is probably going to it's not going to be done today because we've got too much stuff but Representative Fleck then I've got Fleck, Perganza, Merrill, McConkie and Alden. Representative Fleck. Thank you. 
Yes, I made a uh, request. That I know it's been a few months ago, and it probably follows on what uh, Representative Umberger said. But I know I cannot make a decision about the appropriation of funds unless we have specifics. Not only the square footage, but several months ago, I asked for at least a tentative uh, assessment of the allocations that would be needed to perform certain functions. Maybe those are storage. Uh, maybe it's uh, the return or the placement of the, uh, the county extension uh, services here on the complex. <coughs> Whatever it may be, I think we have to have those packages before us where we know that there are specific needs and what those needs will require in terms of square footage. Uh, and then we would be in a position to say, well, this isn't worthwhile, or that is, we'll support one but not another. But I don't think we keep going around in circles because we simply don't know. Uh, we can't get a grasp on with some, uh, with some uh, definition of what we want to do. And I, I think nobody, I, I can't speak for everyone, but I, I don't think there is necessarily uh, opposition to retaining something or mothballing. But we cannot make a decision without that information. I would like to see that as soon as possible because the request has been out there for some time. And even if that, even if that changes, you know, it could be fluid. We realize that. But we need to start with something. <coughs> Well, the, the question of what Representative um, Umberger just said was that the building committee was trying to, was the charge to come up with what we were doing. But I'm not, I'm not positive of that because we are asking the questions. We know that the delegation has got to figure out, has the authority and the charge to be able to figure out what to do with the old nursing home. But what we need from the uh, commissioners, um, whether you know it's a two to one or a three or whatever, you don't want to give us anything. You know we could, you know, we need to find out what are the um, proposals for it. And so that was it. Okay, you're all through with Representative Representative Trevanza. The drawing. You said that the two wings that are to be torn down. Those are the the two north wings. The two wings that are faced, yeah, that's correct. So on this diagram, they would be? It's that side. Okay. Where is the, uh, the mold? I don't know if we have molds. Okay. There's, I know no way, there's no way of telling because we can't get between the two roofs. I mean, they drilled holes through the roof to get the testing for the asbestos. They couldn't get up there and take samples. I do know, I do know that when we were talking about rehabbing, and this is going to go way back to when Representative Jim Martin was here, um, and I'm not sure when, Jim, it was probably at least five years ago, if not more than that, that Jim was very concerned that there was mold in the roof in, in between the in sections, the and there was, again, nobody can go and find out that. However, we have not had any reports that there is a mold problem going on in the in the upper um, in the upper roofs. We have a few roofs up there. Also, for the fact is that having, um, in my estimation, having the nursing home be there 24/7 is very different than having um, extension there five days a week for eight eight days, sometimes eight hours, sometimes. Um, program. So I think that we have to take that into consideration and when you have a proposal and ten tentative <coughs> allegations about what's going to happen, I think that that would be, you know, would be good to do that. So, Representative Trevanza, go ahead. Have have a okay. Okay. <clears throat> what is the difference between the two north wings and the two other wings that uh, causes uh, the conclusion that those two are the two that should be taken down. Those are the two that are closest to the nursing home, the <coughs> nursing home. Also, I think what was taken under consideration was when we put those boilers in there, we had to go around it versus going through it or under it. And at that time, we were going to take those down because of that, because of the piping going from the boilers in the core section for the for the pellet furnaces is going to go directly into the new nursing home. 
Had that piping been laid yet? Yes, it had. It had been. Yep. And it went around the, it went went around around the, the wind. Nursing home at the moment.